Microsoft Excel has many functions when it comes to manipulating texts. In this video, we are going to see some of the most commonly used text functions. The link to the Excel workbook used in this video is provided under the description. If you have not subscribed to this channel yet, take a moment to subscribe to get more updates. So without waiting, let's get started. Clean function can be used when you want to remove non-printable characters such as carriage, return, tab, etc. To use this, click on the cell, type equal to clean and here you can provide the text which you want to clean. Here I just simply select this text and hit enter. As you see here, clean function removed, carriage, returned from this text. Concatenate function can be used when you want to join multiple strings. For example, if you want to join these two texts, John and Miller can simply use equal to concatenate. You can use text one and text two close enter. So it simply join this text together. Concat function is updated version of concatenation function. The advantage of concat function is you can simply provide ranges within this function instead of just specifying cells. For example, here if I want to add these three strings together, I can simply use concat and I can select all these text in one range and close parenthesis. If you see, it just added all these texts together. Whereas in concatenation function, range is not possible. That means if you go back here and type concatenate, select these two cells, hit enter. So it doesn't work. That is the improvement of concat function. Text join function is little more updated version of concat function. So it has all the features of concat plus some additional features. Here you can actually specify the delimiter when you join multiple strings. For example, here in concat function, when we join these three words together, there was no space. If we want to add a space, then we have to specify the space in the function manually. For example, if we go here, select the cell, comma, space. Now we have spaces with, between these words. In text join function, we do not have to write such lengthy formulas. So you can simply go here, type text join and now first argument is a delimiter so here delimiter is nothing but separation character so here I want to separate each word with a space so I simply select double quotes space double quotes comma and the second argument is do you want to ignore empty cells or not so here if you want to ignore empty cells select true comma and now here you can simply provide list of all the cells so i simply select this range and hit enter so without writing complex formula it simply added all these strings with space as delimiter between each word dollar function can be used when you want to add dollar sign to the text it also rounds off digits after decimal point. For example, here I have dollar amount as 123.456. So if you want to convert that, you can simply specify dollar function and select this cell. And now I want to two digits after decimal point. So I simply select two and hit enter. So now 
you just add a dollar sign and round it off 456246. As per accounting rules, NATO numbers usually shown with parentheses. So if I apply the same function here, dollar number comma two digits, it simply adds parentheses for you. Exact function is useful when you want to compare two strings. For example, now here we have two words, this and that, and if you want to know whether they both are equal or not, you can simply use exact function equal to exact and text one and text two. When you enter, when you do this, so if both strings are equal, then it returns true, otherwise it returns false. In this case, this and that both are not same, so it's simply returned false. Find function is useful when you want to find specific text in another text. In this case, if you want to find the word is in this, this is today's sentence, we can use find function. Find function has three arguments or three parameters. The first one is the text you want to find, in this case is, and the second one is within text, nothing but in which text you want to find this text and the starting number. The third, third parameter is optional. If you do not specify any starting position, it simply starts from the beginning of the within text. To use this, equal to find, and I simply use find text and then within text. I do not specify, hit enter. It says that from third letter onwards, you can find is text in this sentence. So as you see, one, two, three, see? So is starts from third position. Search function is almost same as find function, but the only difference is search function is not case sensitive, whereas find function is case sensitive. So if you go back to find function, if you want to find capital I S is, it shows that it doesn't find this value because find is always looks for exact case sensitive values. Whereas in sets, it doesn't care case of the search text. So when you use this set, find text within text, enter, it shows the value as three. That's the position from which says text found in within text. Syntax for both of these functions is same. Write function can be used when you want to extract specific number of characters from the end of the text. For example, we have a text called this is today and if you want to extract last three characters from this text, nothing but D A Y, then you can use write function. To use write function, equal to write and text from which you want to extract and number of characters you want to extract from the end. Hit enter. So it extracted three characters. If you don't specify number of characters here, then it simply extracts only one characters from the end. So here we see Y, which is the last character in this sentence. Left function is similar to right function. The only difference is left function extracts characters from the beginning of the text. So if I use left function on this text for three characters, I will get first three letters, which is nothing but T H I. So syntax is same as right function. So simply use left text and number of characters three, enter. Now we see first three letters of the text. Mid function is similar to right and left function. The only difference here is it extracts characters from the middle of the text. So here mid function has three arguments or three parameters. 
So the first one is text from which you want to extract. Second parameter is starting number from where you want to start extraction. And third one is how many characters you want to extract. So if I want to extract, let's say from sixth position and extract just two, which is nothing but here, one, two, three, four, five, six is. So you can simply use mid text starting number and number of characters enter now it extracted two letters from the starting portion of six which is nothing but is len function is very useful when you want to find length of the given text the syntax is very simple simply use equal to len and text enter we have we have sentence whose length is 13 characters here when you want to convert all letters of a text to lowercase letters then you can use lower function usage is very simple here that equal to lower and select the text which you want to convert and hit enter as you see here it just converted all characters from different cases to lowercase upper function is similar to lower function but the only difference is it converts all the letters of a text to uppercase syntax and usage is same as lower function so equal to upper and text close parenthesis proper function is similar to lower and upper function but the difference here is instead of converting all the characters either lowercase or uppercase it just converts only the first letter of each word into uppercase so here we have the sentence this is today so when we use proper function it converts first letter in each word to uppercase replace function is handy when you want to replace some set of characters from a text so it has four parameters and all four of these are mandatory parameters the first one is text in which you want to replace some text and the second one is starting number and third one is number of characters so basically it tells from which position how many characters you want to replace and the final parameter is new text this is a text that you want to replace with it's simply select equal to type replace function select all these four cells enter so i replaced first four letters of this sentence which is nothing but this with that so now i have that is today instead of this is today substitute function is almost similar to replace function but the only difference is in replace function you had to use characters position when you want to replace but in substitute instead of using character position you can use entire text itself for example here I have a sentence this is today I want to replace text is with was so I can simply use substitute function and the text and the old text and the new text so it just simply substituted all is words with was word but if you observe here we have two is sequence in this text so that's when this fourth parameter comes into play so if you want to substitute only specific number of instances then you can specify here but if you don't specify it substitutes all the words so here in our example it just substituted all eases with was so th was space was space today 
but if you want to substitute only first is then you can simply specify the number of instances comma and then stands so it just simply substituted first instance in case if you want to substitute only second instance but not the first instance there is no way that can be done here that is a limitation of this substitute function trim function is commonly used when you want to remove trailing or leading spaces in a text for example if you get here so i have some extra spaces after this today so when you use trim function it simply removes all the spaces so if you look at the length of this text you can use length function if i use the length of this text it says that 17 but if you look at this text length it says only 13 because in this text we have four extra spaces that were removed with this trim function these are all the most commonly used text function in excel i hope you guys like this video and do not forget to subscribe thank you for watching